What does QC mean? Quality control QC is a process through which a business seeks to ensure that product quality is maintained or improved. Quality control requires the business to create an environment in which both management and employees strive for perfection. This is done by training personnel, creating benchmarks for product quality and testing products to check for statistically significant variations. Question 1. What is the difference between CAR and QC? Quality control can be defined as part of quality management focused on fulfilling quality requirements. While quality assurance relates to how a process is performed or how a product is made, quality control is more the inspection aspect of quality management. Four types of quality control. Which type of quality control focuses on making sure the processes are functioning correctly? Acceptance sampling. Process protocol. Process control. Control charts. Setting up an inspection plan is what type of quality control? Process control. Acceptance sampling. Control charts. Inspection. What is QAP? A quality assurance plan QAP is used to define the criteria and processes that will ensure and verify that data meets specific data quality objectives throughout the data life cycle. What is an ITP plan? An inspection and test plan ITP is a document which describes the plan for Managing the quality control and assurance of a particular element of the construction works providing information on the requirements, overview of the methods to be used, responsibilities of relevant parties, and documentary evidence to be provided to verify compliance. What is the meaning of hold point in ITP? A hold point is a mandatory verification point beyond which work cannot proceed without approval by the designated authority, typically the engineer or consultant or third party inspector. Work cannot proceed until receipt of a hold point release issued by the persons who inspected the work. What is a quality checklist? A quality control checklist is basically a written guide for your products. Contents, packaging, color, barcodes, appearance, possible defects, functions, and special requirements. It's also sometimes called an inspection criteria, sheet, or inspection checklist. What is the difference between QCP and ITP? While both construction quality control plans and inspection and test plans are intended to control construction quality, your construction QC plan will focus on a wide range of elements, whereas your inspection and test plan ITP will only focus on inspections and tests as a means of quality control. What is a quality control plan? Quality Control Plan QCP is a written set of procedures and activities aimed at delivering products that meet quality objectives for a project as stated in contract documents and other procedures, manuals, and guidance. What is Piping Material Specification? The piping specification, abbreviated, pipe spec, is a document prepared during the design phase of any project. It provides the appropriate selection, specification and material grade of pipe and piping components for a given service. For all subsequent maintenance and repair on a section of pipe, the piping specification remains as the key to correct material selection.
What are ASTM grades? ASTM standards define the specific manufacturing process of the material and determine the exact chemical composition of pipes, fittings and flanges through percentages of the permitted quantities of carbon, magnesium, nickel, etc. and are indicated by grade. For example, a carbon steel pipe can be identified with grade A or B, A. Stainless steel pipe with grade TP304 or grade TP321, a carbon steel fitting with grade WPB etc. Below you will find as an example three tables with chemical requirements for 1. Flangers ASTM A182 grade F304, F304 L F316 L. Two pipes ASTM A312 grade TP304, TP304 L, TP3016 L. Note, for small diameter or thin walls or both, where many drawing passes are required, a carbon maximum of 0.040% is necessary in grades TP304L and TP316L. Small outside diameter tubes are defined as those less than 0.50 in 12.7 mm in outside diameter and light wall tubes as those less than 0.049 in. 1.20 mm in average wall thickness 0.044 in 1.10 mm in minimum wall thickness. Three fittings ASTM A403 grade WP304 WP304L VP316L. Notes. 1. Maximum, unless otherwise indicated. 2. For small diameter or thin walls or both, where many drawing passes are required, a carbon. Maximum of 0.040% is necessary in grades TP304L and TP316L. Small outside diameter tubes are defined as those less than 0.50 in. 12.7 mm in outside diameter and light wall tubes as those less than 0.049 in 1.20 mm in average wall thickness 0.044 in 1.10 mm in minimum wall thickness 3 on pierced tubing the nickel may be 11.0 16.0% Furthermore, a table with frequently used ASTM grades arranged on pipes, fittings, flanges, valves, bolts and nuts, which belong together as a group. As you may have noted, in the table below, ASTM A105 has no grade. Sometimes ASTM A105N is described. N stands not for grade, but for normalize. Normalizing is a type of heat treatment applicable to ferrous metals only. The purpose of normalizing is to remove the internal stresses induced by heat treating, casting, forming at sea. ASTM materials. Pipes. Fill circle A106 equals the specification covers carbon steel pipe for high temperature service. Fill circle A335 equals the specification covers seamless ferretic alloy steel pipe for high temperature service. 
Filled circle A333 equals the specification covers wall seamless and welded carbon and alloy. Steel pipe intended for use at low temperatures. Filled circle A312 equals standard specification for seamless, straight seam welded and coal. Worked welded austenitic stainless steel pipe intended for high temperature and general corrosive service. Fittings. Fill circle A234 equals the specification covers wrought carbon steel and alloy steel fittings of seamless and welded construction. Fill circle A420 equals standard specification for piping fittings of wrought carbon steel and alloy steel for low temperature service. A403 equals standard specification for wrought austenitic stainless steel piping. Flanges. Fill circle A105 equals the specification covers standards for forged carbon steel piping. Components, that is, flanges, fittings, valves, and similar parts for use in pressure systems at ambient and higher temperature service conditions. Fill circle A182 equals the specification covers forged or rolled alloy and stainless steel pipe. Flanges, forged fittings, and valves and parts for high temperature service. Fill circle A350 equals the specification covers several grades of carbon and low alloy steel. Forged ring rolled flanges, forged fittings and valves for low temperature. Service. Valves. Fill circle A216 equals the specification covers carbon steel castings for valves, flanges, fittings, or other pressure containing parts for high temperature service and off. Quality suitable for assembly with other castings or wrought steel parts by fusion. Welding. Fill circle A217 equals the specification covers steel castings, mutton suttex stainless steel and Alloy steel castings for valves, flanges, fittings, and other pressure containing parts intended primarily for high temperature and corrosive service. Fill circle A352 equals the specification covers steel castings for valves, flanges, fittings, and other pressure containing parts intended primarily for low temperature service. A182 equals the specification covers forged a rolled alloy and stainless steel pipe. Flanges, forged fittings, and valves and parts for high temperature service. Bolts and nuts. Fill circle A193 equals the specification covers alloy and stainless steel bolting material for pressure vessels, valves, flanges, and fittings for high temperature or high pressure service or other special purpose applications. Fill circle A320 equals standard specification for alloy steel and stainless steel bolting. Materials for low temperature service. Fill circle A194 equals standard specification for nuts in many different material types. Other informations will be posted on part 2 video.